Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Welcome to FA 110 lecture series number 12. And this video is discussing on the bank reconciliation statement topic. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to know that um, what is it actually bank reconciliation is all about? Uh, businesses will maintain a current account current account uh, which is one of the uh, type of um, um, product offered by the bank and usually the commercial bank uh, so the businesses will open um, a current account with the bank to keeping uh, and also the maintaining the control of the cash um, so it, it is better uh, use a current account instead of handing out cash to suppliers or uh, or uh, keep safe the cash money in the business premises and this current account offered by the bank has a facility in using checks for payment checks is actually uh, um, a replacement of cash money, uh, a physical money, um, to do the payment. So, um, uh, the businesses usually will pay a certain amount uh, to maintain um, the current account, including um, paying the service charge of uh, each check that um, a book checkbook that they provided uh, the bank provide to the businesses and the commercial bank will record the receipts and payment uh, in that customer's account and from these uh, records they will generate a bank statement and this bank statement will be sent to the customer by monthly and nowadays um, they do not send the physical bank statement rather than they uh, allow you to access it and uh, print it from online facilities. Business also records the receipt and payments of checks or uh, a payment out by checks um, using the money in the bank uh, in our bank ledger or bank account or some some of the small businesses will record them in the cash book however um, uh, usually the closing balances of bank account and the closing balances of bank statement uh, for the month will be different um, and you uh, need to compare them and updates do some corrections in order to explain why the balances the closing balance uh, of bank statement and the bank account that we record um, is different so you need to do what you call bank reconciliations statement bank reconciliations however need to prepare in order to identify what is the possible causes for differences and then we could explain uh, why the bank records is different from our records and also and also we can set um or these cause uh, causes um differences uh, in a format so that it will align the closing balances of bank account and also the uh, balances of bank statement. Um, okay, next is to understand what are the informations on the check itself. Okay, the check will represent the drawer banks, means that uh, which bank uh, will pay out the money to you and then which branch uh, which branch of that particular bank because 
bank has lots of branch and each branch can cater uh, the current account for the businesses so uh, the so you would know okay this check is actually comes from which bank and which branch and the drawer name will be on the bottom just before the uh, the computer um, readable numbers down there and the, in the uh, computer readable number uh, on the bottom of the checks is needed nowadays because most of the banks are nowadays has a uh, check scanner you call it and the machines uh, will scan the number and all the informations will be automatically will be uh, keyed in into the uh, the check uh, sorting system so the okay uh, so in the computer readable um, numbers down there it represent the drawers account number so once it's scanned uh, the uh, the applications or the programs in the bank will catch that particular information um, and then each check has a signatory whether one signatory or second uh, to signatory so it depends on the policy of the business and it uh, the computer readable form also um, has uh, written the check number uh, that is the check number and the branch code number because while sorting the check um, so that to, to turn the, this check into cash so did they need to know where the check is actually comes from um the pay or some of the some of the book will call it as drawy okay uh, the name or the one who actually received the checks must be correct otherwise it will not be clear um, the check will not be clear it means that the check will not be cashed to you um, and in Malaysia all the checks are crossed means that all the check must be deposited in the bank account um, if you want to cash it over the counter the crossed uh, symbol must be cancelled first, first so you need the signatory to uh, cancel the cross okay then the date of the check represents um, how many um, uh, how many months that the check will be valid for clearance uh, some of the check will have three months some of the check has six months of expiry so you need uh, to look into that the date of the checks and the expiry of the checks now let's have a look so why the closing balance of bank statements differ from the closing balance of the bank First of all, it's a business error. This is a common um, uh, causes um, why there is a difference. Um, error of the business normally is incorrect entries, uh, uh, wrong number or um, um, transpositions error, and then omissions in some other area of the books. Um, for example, 57 is recorded as 75, that's transpositions error. Okay, then the bank's error, banks rarely made mistake because they have uh, auditor by daily checks um, or the transactions and whatsoever. But uh, banks are run by humans and of course there could be an error. And normally, the error by the bank will be uh, uh, 
funds will be spotted or will be audited and to find the error as quick as possible and they will rectify the problem as quick as possible also this on a check is another uh, form of causes why there is a difference between uh, closing balances be, uh, differ from the bank statement uh, the this on a check called uh, uh, when the check is returned due certain reason for example um, the checks are presented too early or it passed the validity period remember just now you need to look at the checks how many months that the check is valid and the date too or uh, the check is not properly written out uh, the dates and also the signature uh, the signature is very very difficult so if your if your signature is sometimes um, change over the years the, you do not remember how to write your signatures then it will be dangerous if you uh, are responsible for writing checks um or the checks is not properly written um in terms of the figures and the wordings of the checks mm, that's why if you um work later on insist on uh check printing machines because uh, it, it will lessen your mistake and the wording and also the figure um, amount of the checks and words and figures are not tally this is another one and this honest check uh, sometimes appeared in our bank account uh, but in the um, bank statement has already been taken out um, uncredited checks means that the checks received by the firm means that we already record in the bank account and it takes some time for us to go to the bank and deposit that check to the bank branch. This usually happens if your bank is quite far from your business premise. And once the check, sometimes once the check has gone into the clearing process means that you already deposited the checks uh, uh, into the deposit machines the check deposit machines but it takes some time especially if you uh, deposit um, that check at later uh, in the later day or in the afternoon and the next day is actually um, a public holiday and you have to wait for the clearing process it takes time um, uh, uh, for the bank to credit the the entry uh, credit entry to the check of the check into your bank statement so it's the process is, it will take a long time uh, but uh, well, sometimes um, uh, a customer the one who received the check um, the, um, it need to wait for seven working days or 14 working days uh, for the check to clear um, but now this is much simpler process it takes sometimes one day if your check in at the um, your check received and your bank account in the same branch it can uh, be done in one day but if different branch or different bank uh, it may take to three to five days but it's a lesson um, the process of clearing the check so um, the check um, sometimes um, if you have to wait sometimes the checks a number will appear in the other bank statement in the following month i present the check uh, is the check has been issued 
by the firm or the business for payment uh, means that we already recorded in the bank account but however the one that we pay the supplier uh, still not present the check to the bank at the time of your bank statement was issued so in your bank statement will not have that particular transactions so or that particular checks that you already issued to your supplier so that is what we call unpresented check another reason is standing order or normally in Malaysia we call standing instructions uh, standing instruction means that we instruct the bank to make a payment usually at the fixed amount uh, on the behalf of the business uh, and the payment is actually on regular basis means that uh, a monthly payment or a quarterly payment um, However, the standing instruction some uh, standing instruction has the expiry time. So when is the last date actually the instruction will be stopped um, and authorized by the bank. And uh, the instructions um, is actually made by the firm, uh, the business and the bank. So it's actually in both the two parties. So any dispute on the standing instructions uh, should be directly um, directly uh, uh, complained to the bank. I mean, dispute will be deal with the bank. Uh, for example, you uh, instruct the bank to pay uh, uh, your insurance on your behalf, uh, uh, but there is um, um, sometimes um, um, uh, you have a moratorium period but the uh, bank uh, already sent uh, paid on but on the behalf of you so uh, you so you cannot um argue with the your insurance company because the standing instruction is between you and the bank so you need to uh, uh, directly the another um reason is direct debit uh, direct debit is more or less the same as standing instructions. However, um, the direct debit uh, is a request whenever the third party requests a payment from the bank and we authorize the bank uh, to pay uh, whatever amount that requested by the third party. So any other amount, for example, your uh, electricity bill, because your electricity bill is not fixed um, every month, it means that the, the amount of you use for electricity may slightly change from the last month. So this month is different, and the next month is different. So the <clears throat> payment, uh, uh, the bank will proceed with the payment uh, on whatever the. the uh, Tenaga National Brad sent the bill to the bank, whatever amount. So uh, the bank will pay uh, on our behalf. Um, unlike the standard instructions, uh, it specific uh, what amount, the fixed amount that to be paid uh, by the bank by monthly basis or by frequently frequent times uh, that you request. So the direct debit dispute must be deal with the third party because the bank has been instructed to pay whatever amount that has been billed to the bank. So if you have dispute, then you need to go to the third party. Uh, if concerning the electricity bill means that you will uh, contact the Tenaga National Berhad uh, Customer Service or if on your internet bill so you need to contact your internet provider uh, because the dispute only will to be dealt with a third party another reason is credit transfer credit transfer means that the bank received the uh, money uh, um, of the behalf of the firm from the outside party from the third party so they received the 
into your account. Um, usually this amount will be appeared in the bank statement, but we don't know. So we have not record in the cash book or the bank account. Another reason is bank charges. Uh, this is a common uh, um, something that we missed um, in our bank account because the bank charges, the, the, the bank will charge you sometimes that you uh, did not foresee it, even though the bank also include the details in the agreement of you. Um, for example, uh, each um, checkbook that you received will be deducted from your bank account and normally we forgot about it and and the charges is actually will be appear in your bank statement but you forgot to record it and so your bank account will not have that particular amount okay this is um, a sample um, a simple sample on the bank statement uh, that a business would receive um, more or less like your bank account or bank ledger so you have a date particulars the debits credits and the balance column however uh, there is um, a bit a slightly different from your bank ledger because your bank ledger bank account debit means the money received and the credits will be the money outflow however in the bank statement because the bank statements comes from the bank it's the bank record not our record so the bank statements represent uh, the debit columns is for the cash outflow from your bank account and the credits is the cash inflow to your bank account so it's opposite from your bank account always remember that then you shouldn't be so happy if your debits of bank statement is more than the credit columns of your bank statement because debits mean outflow of your cash money the credit is inflow so if more on debit side mean the more outflow of the money not inflow it's opposite from your bank ledgers so always remember that okay the format of bank reconciliation statement uh, is something like this you have the title bank reconciliation uh, statement as at 31st october 20 something so you have the title and you have uh, you will start with the closing balance uh, of bank account what is the closing balance so you need to identify what is the closing balance of your bank account and then you add all the receipts that has not been recorded by you by the bank account means that you need to look into your bank statement what are the particulars that has not been recorded by us you know, the credit side of the bank because credit side represent the receipts in the bank statement and also you add any error correction that you need to make and then last the payment or check issued you need to look at the debit side of the bank statement and also the error corrections then when you add and less the closing balance per bank account you add the receipt you less the payment and you will have the adjusted balance per bank account so that's one part it means that you are um, amended adjust uh, the balance uh, the closing balance of your bank account or bank ledgers and the second part of bank reconciliation statement is to adjust the closing balance per bank statement so it's you start with the closing balance per bank statement and you add the receipts means that the debit side of bank account you need to add to adjust 
if the um the record has not been recorded by the bank statement it's, the data is not there in the bank statement so you need to add the receipt the, the debit side for the act of the bank account or bank ledger um you add if any error corrections that you need to be made uh, then you less the payment uh, or the credit side um, of bank account any record that has not been recorded in the bank statement so you need to look at the credit side of bank account and also the error corrections then again the same um, as the first part of your bank reconciliation statement you will have the adjusted balance per bank statement so these two adjusted balance adjusted balance per bank account and also adjusted balance per bank statement should be the same if not the same then there is something wrong somewhere uh, normally we can explain okay this um, bank reconciliation is explaining why there is a difference between the closing balance of bank account and the closing balance per bank statement As I mentioned just now, there is an error correction to be added or to be less in the bank reconciliation statement. I have a tips on how to uh, correct the error. Um, first of all, uh, if your um, record is understated or less amount recorded, meaning that the record should be there but not appear. So you need to slash the amount of that particular transactions and put the difference figure. That is the tip of to correct the error. And the second error is over recorded amount, overstated. Or uh, the record uh, should not be there but appear in the uh, uh, bank statement or appeared in the bank account. So if you're overstated, transactions you need to move the record from less to add add to less so uh, uh, and use that difference figure okay uh, the the third tips is error of principles meaning that a receipts become payment or payment becomes a receipt so th this kind of error you you are only need to slash the amount and to uh, replace it with a double amount that particular transaction so this is the tip to correct the error i will show you um, how to do the bank reconciliations using these tips um, later uh, just um, bear with me let's have a practical example on how to do the bank reconciliation statement okay let's say you have the bank statement you are given um, on the left side is the bank statement and the card uh, on the right side is your bank account now uh, the first thing to do is to identify uh, the closing balance of the bank statement here is 38064 that is the closing balance for 31st august 2020 for the bank statement of sqa enterprise then you need to identify the closing balance of bank account where on the right side so you have to in the balance uh, column you have 43,300 hundred and ninety that is the closing balance of bank account so you can see that is a huge difference the closing balance of bank statement and also the bank account so that once you have already identified the closing balance so you know which one is the closing balance now the second step is to add, uh, cross out the transactions that already been recorded in the bank statement and also recorded in the bank account by looking at the receipts with receipts payment with payments remember 
I told you in previous, uh, in earlier in the video, uh, in the bank statement, debit side means the cash outflows. The credit is the cash inflow, the receipts. Uh, but your bank account, debit is cash inflow, the credit it is cash outflow, the opposite. So you need to compare debit column of your bank statement with credit column of your bank account. And the credit column of bank statement with the debit column of your bank account. Now, we uh, cross out um, the transactions that already been recorded by both of your bank statement and also the bank account. For example, we take the debit column of bank statement first. Uh, we have um, uh, uh, check uh, 274316 and the debit amount is 1240. So look at the amount, the amount only. Um, one two four zero. Is there any amount on the credit side of your bank account? And you can see that there is a transactions one two four zero in the the bank account. So you uh, already record in the bank account, and the bank statement already has the record. So you slash the amount. You want to slash the amount because it is already recorded and look uh, any other transitions. Let's see the second one 850. No, there's no record there. 1520. No, 2970. Oh, there is a 2970 there, and you can see the check number is also the same. So, okay, then you cross them out. Okay, next, 1120, no, 106, no, 1125, no, 500, no, that's not there, no, no, that's not, it's also, none of it also, 1130, no, okay, then you look it at the credit side of um, okay, now it looks at compare the, the credit side of your bank statement and the debit side of your bank account. Okay, now mm, take the 75 first, the, the amount of 75. No, there's nothing on the debit side of the bank account. So you have not record the receipt of 75 ringgit of interest in your bank account. Then. You have uh, 2620. Mm, yeah, you have 260. And the number of the check is also the same. So now you cross them out because we have all the records. Um, now 940. No. 1990. Mm, no. 1500. Yes, you have the check of 7.49. Okay. Cross them out. Then settle, compare which are the transactions that um, already recorded in the bank statement and also already recorded in your bank account. So there are lots of differences there, the records. Now, the next thing is to prepare your bank reconciliation statement after you compare this then you need to do the format so the next step is you to do the format so you start with the the title bank reconciliation statement as at the 31st august 2020 then you write the closing balance per bank account then you add mm, let's have four, five, six um, lines, uh, empty lines. Then you put the word less, then the same five line or six lines, just to be safe. And then you put uh, 
adjusted balance per bank account because the closing balance per bank account at the transactions less and other transactions so you will have the adjusted balance per bank account that is first part and then the second part is closing balance per bank statement at all the records and less and uh, records that not appear in the bank statement but appear in the bank account and you have the, the adjusted balance per bank statement so this is the format for you to prepare first uh, it doesn't matter you can just uh, draft it out first then later on you can um, make it more beautiful pretty uh, adjusting correcting and so on now your task is to put the figure or the transactions that you needed in the bank record such statement okay the closing balance per bank account um, amount is um, to be put here so the balance of uh, balance of bank account no, 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 not in here so you need to uh, okay four three four three nine three so four three nine eh, sorry four three three nine what have i done okay four three three nine zero okay this is the amount of closing balance per bank account and the closing balance per bank statement is 38064 the last one now for uh, what are the transactions to add on the at the first part of the bank reconciliation statement okay the tips look at the word here per bank account so you need to look at the bank statement what are uh, the, the data that has not been crossed okay previously we have crossed the record that has been recorded in the bank statement and has been recorded in the bank account so it left with the uncrossed amount so this uncrossed amount means that you have not recorded in the bank account so you need to put always remember credit is received debit is pay out the outflow of the money so you will put at the receipt at the credit side of bank statement and less the debit side of the bank statement for example here you put interest Add interest and the amount of the interest is 75 because that record that is the record that has not been recorded yet uh, by your bank account oops i think i wrongly record on the wrong row so okay 75 your interest and the second one is the credit transfer this one is also has yet to be recorded um, in your bank account so you add okay credit transfer is nine four zero and also another one is here check clear probably you will think okay the check clear how can we check clear uh, uh in credit side uh in the credit side mm. because the credit side is means that check clear means that you have now the money in the bank okay that is the transactions that has not been crossed yet meaning that that are the transactions that has not been recorded yet in the bank account that's why we 
will adjust you. I mean, we do the adjustment here. And then, now, for less is from the debit side. Okay, one is 850 the EFT electronic fund transfer. Okay, the electronic fund transfer is more or less like a credit transfer, but is using electronic uh, devices, for example, ATM machines, cash deposit machine, online banking, mobile banking, and so on. So, all this uh, electronic uh, transfer. Uh, so, you uh, since it's on the debit side so you will put them on the less uh, part and you will continue the records transfer the figure on the bank statement however for check that has been uh, there's a number uh, EFT and dry debit that there is no reference number uh, given so you don't need to put there uh, but the check here the check one one two zero that is the number so you need to copy these informations in the bank reconciliation statement because later on we want to compare if there any error so you need that particular information so you must put it okay then you will put mm, the uh, figure for the check uh, 274319 the amount uh, will be one one two oh okay then we come to the check 274311 okay i forgot to tell you just now okay. mm, if we look into your bank account mm, bank account the first check that you uh, um, issued is with the number of 274316 so number that is less so is uh, less than uh, one six four three one six so we assume that is the check that we already issued the last month so when we issued the last month uh, mean that um uh, uh this month will not be taken account into so we assume we already um uh, reconcile that particular checks um, last month so the check the chat 274311 is less than 4316. So this one also need to be scrapped off. So you will cross them out too. So you don't need to record. Add means uh, cash inflow to your um, bank account even though uh, it's a closing balance per bank statement but still add means the cash inflow so the cash inflow of bank account is from the debit side of bank account so the one who is not uh, the transaction that is not being crossed yet is from stiff trading 1530 so we take that information and record add and also kedai me another transactions that has not been crossed yet and then rasa tu This one has not been recorded in the bank statement, but recorded in the bank account. So you need to put those informations um, in your bank reconciliation statement. Less means that the cash outflow from your bank account. So uh, this one will be taken from the credit side of bank account that is tira enterprise remember um uh, please put the um, the check number so that easier for you to check back if there is any error in 
the um, uh, while you're preparing this um, uh, band reconciliation statement. Uh, and uh, last one, in this one, yes, the trading. That is two, one, two, five. Okay. So transfer everything else, uh, everything. The, the, the transaction has not been crossed yet. Uh, then after this, we need to identify whether there is um, um, error for us to correct them. Okay, let's say we have an additional information um, given to us. Um, um, the first additional information saying that the check uh, 14250 was strongly recorded by Business Club. Okay, to correct the error, uh, the first question you need to ask, uh, who made the mistake? Whether the bank made mistake in the bank statement or the business who made the mistakes in the bank account. So first, that the first questions. Okay, the check MPP 14250 was strongly recorded by the business account clerk. So the bank statement is correct, but the bank account that made by the clerk, uh, the account clerk, business account clerk is wrong. So the first thing to do to correct this error is to cross out that particular data, the check MBP 114250 from the bank statement um, reconciliations okay uh, you need uh, let's uh, just now it says that uh, bank account is wrong not the bank statement so you need to go to the second part where starting from the closing balance per bank statement uh, this is uh, what we do to correct the bank statement but the bank statement is uh, is not wrong uh, because the one who made the wrong the mistake is the bank account not the bank statement so uh, find out where is the mbb 14250 so here are the kadami okay this one is not um it is it's not um, um they would say, say it is not wrong in the bank uh, it's not wrong in the bank statement but it's wrong in the bank account so you need to um, cross them out or delete it okay so I delete it because this is not the bank statement uh, mistake so delete it so you need to Correct the error. This MBB one four two five. Where is the MBB one two four one? Uh oh. Uh. This must be here, right? So MBB one two five. See if you if when you did not copy uh, the informations of the check, and you will get a horror. Uh, well, um, try to um, correct the error. Okay, MBB125. Oh, this amount. No wonder because we did not copy the information. Hmm, check clear. Control B. That's MBB14250. So, uh, it says uh, the bank account is wrong uh, but not uh, the bank statement now let's have a look it says okay the bank account is wrong so mbp 14250 this amount this amount is wrong so you need to um, 
highlight. This is the wrong. This is wrong. And uh, this one, the, in the bank statement, this one is the correct one. So I highlight it with the color but not so bright. Oh, it's blue. But this is too bright. Um, I can't see. So we should pull it um, a little bit. Okay. Um, this is wrong. This is correct. So the blue is correct. The orange is wrong. Now you, you ask yourself whether the wrong the wrong amount is understated or overstated. As you can see, the amount in the bank account, which is the wrong one, is less than the correct one. So it means that the bank account is understated. So when is understated? Understated means that you need to slash the amount and put the difference figure. So do not move anything. Um, um, do not move the amount. You just um, uh, just um, change uh, the figure. So the correct one is one 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 nine nine so it's a hundred difference between the one nine nine zero with one eight nine zero so like a hundred different so uh, just cross the amount and change it to the difference figure the the discrepancies figure so it's a hundred so put hundred so because you did that one nine nine zero to one nine one eight nine zero. Okay. Now the 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 second additional information said that the account clerk again when it says account clerk means the the mistake is in the bank account uh, mistakenly recorded the amount of uh, uh, the amount of check two seven four three. Nine one nine was wrongly recorded by the business. Okay, so the business is wrong again. You go to the the bank statement part because the bank statement uh, is not wrong. So two seven four three one nine here. So the rental two seven four three one nine is wrongly recorded by the business. Okay, so this one is not uh, wrong in the bank statement so you just delete it and we need to correct the error in the the the, the part where uh, we adjust the bank account balances so the check here two seven four three one nine so you now the second part is the second step is to find out whether it's overstated understated or wrong side now go bit go back to the original figure again we look into two seven four three nine the renter okay this is the wrong one so again you highlight the amount this is wrong and the correct one is two four seven two seven four three one is this one this is the correct one so highlight them with the blue in color which one we are we use this one here okay, okay this is the correct one so, 2120 is wrong. 1120 is correct. So, you can see the wrong figure is overstated from the correct one. So, overstated. Uh, the rule 
for the uh, overstated is to move the transactions move move the transactions and use the different figure so moved the transactions okay this one should be moved here from less becomes we add moved from bottom to up and then the difference just now you can see the difference just now 2000 Two one two zero minus one one two zero is one thousand. The difference. So your amount is not one one two zero, but one thousand. Use the difference figure. The different. Uh, I mean, you deduct them. The amount. Okay. Now have a look on the. Third um, additional information. Bank signed the business memo on 1st September informing that the transaction 31st August 2020 was mistake by bank clerk. Now, this one has been made mistake by the bank. So the bank statement is wrong, but the bank account is correct. So look at the closing balance per bank account so uh, look at uh, the transactions on 31st okay have a look 31st is eft 1130 okay this is the data this one is wrong okay this one it shouldn't be recorded here uh, uh, adjusting the balance per bank account because the bank account is not wrong so just delete the transactions now you need to correct uh, the bank statement so the bank statement uh, considered as overstated overstated mean, um, means that it's over deducted every side is over deducted so once you over deducted so you need to add back the transactions so you have a bank error so you put at um, add bank error and you can have um, a, the additional information the EFT so you put the amount here one one three zero that is the difference because the amount should be zero but that is the um the bank statement already recorded one one three zero so one one three zero did that zero so it's still one one three zero okay now last one the payment to Abdul Sunyam Brahad has been wrongly recorded in the bank account so again the bank account is wrong not the bank statement so have a look which one Abdul Sunyam Brahad so find out the details okay Abdul Sunyam Brahad is BIMB274321 mm. oh there you are this is not the error made by the bank statement so delete them out because not the error in bank statement the error must be corrected in the bank account adjustment now two four what is this here two seven four two seven four Three two one. Two seven four here. Oh, this one. Check two seven four three two one. Okay, now um, let's have a look. What is the mistake just now? Hmm. A payment has been wrongly recorded in bank account. 
Okay, let's have a look at the bank account again. A payment. Payment means, means that must be on the credit side. But the bank account recorded on the debit side. It should be deduct, but it says add. So the error is wrong side of account. Okay, let's have to just again. So wrong side of account. Um, it should be credit, but you put it on the debit side. So wrong side of account. So you need to double the amount. So it will be. So you want when you double the one one two five, it becomes two two five zero. So change the amount to two five. Zero, double the amount. Okay, now uh, we come to the conclusions. Okay, so we're done with uh, correcting the error. Now you need to calculate uh, the, uh, um, the the total amount of air, the total amount of less. So the four three three nine zero. Add the total of add and deduct the total of less. Then you will have the adjusted balance per bank account. So you total them up. Then you will have the amount of the adjusted balance per bank account should be 40779. Then you need to cut the adjusted uh, balance per bank statement. Again, you need to add, uh, total up the add um, part and total up the less. Then you will calculate the adjusted balance per bank statement. So the closing balance per bank statement, 38064, add with uh, the total add, 6080. And did that with the total less is three three six five. Then you will be surprised at the adjusted balance per bank statement should be the same as the with the adjusted balance per bank account. Then now you has done um, the adjusted. Um, uh, the, the bank reconciliation statements um, for the business for the month of August 2020. Thank you for watching.